Hey everybody, Mary and the Barbarian here, and we've got a top 10 list for you. You know it's not normally my thing, but I was kind of like, what soaps do I really want to focus on this summer? And I've decided these are the 10, well there's 11, but you'll understand why there's 11. But we're going to say the 10 that I'm going to stick with through August. I may throw something in there occasionally, but these are what I'm going to be using day to day, and I'll explain why. So we're going to start with the two that kind of go together. We're using... Talbot Shaving Mal Tangerine, and Ecto Cooler. Menthol, not menthol, very similar in scent, and I used the splash for this with Ecto Cooler. Um, pretty self-explanatory scent. Smells like tangerine, smells like a fresh orange with a little bit of menthol. So we covered that. Maddie Lynn Holmes Ecto Cooler, and Talbot Shaving Tangerine awesome ones and these aren't in any particular order just kind of putting it out there what I'm excited to use this summer what I'm going to be using so summer breaks cannonball nostalgia factor here people you know you kind of get that uh, fruity smell with some chlorine like a suntan lotiony smell like some ozone some people tell me they don't get all that I've seen in comments to each their own um, everybody's nose is different but that's what I'm getting they said maybe they got a bad batch I don't know, but it's it's a good scent. It's a nostalgic scent. So it's one of those I can use, pair whatever splash I want to pair with afterwards. All right, let's move on to another one. Talbot Shaving, Katie's Bubbles. I do love some Talbot Shaving. I guess you guys are kind of finding that out. Um, Valley of Fire. This is a dupe of Jimmy Choo Man, I believe. Um, I'm going to put scent notes up at the bottom of everything, just in case anybody's wanting to know. But Jimmy Choo Man, it is not a scent I have, but it's a very good scent. Very, let's get it open. Very fresh, clean scent, in my opinion. So, great scent for summertime. Always looking for a reason to use some more Talbot, so that's what we're going to be using. This one, I have not used yet. Did come in. I got it because of Kim Gray and support for Kim Gray. I should have gotten the splash. The scent is phenomenal, but I didn't need the splash. But I should have bought it just to help support Kim. So for that, Kim, I do apologize. But it is Magic by HCNC, Strike Gold Shave, The Razor Company, and whatever Hoffman Shave and Soap Company is. I, I don't know who they are, but their name's on the tub. This smells like Sauvage, straight up. Like, be great to get the splash. The only reason I didn't get the splash, honestly, is because... I got the splash, you know, and that's it. Man, Sauvage, great scent. I will be using that quite a bit. All right, moving on to Noble Otter. Monoy de Tahiti. Yeah, I'm screwed, right? But guys, this is great. Look at the artwork, man. They didn't step away from the otter, but they did step up this artwork quite a bit. It has ginger, coconut, lime, tiare, flour, Tahitian vanilla and sandalwood. It's like a cream, a coconutty, floral, creamy, vanilla-y sandalwood. Really nice scent, guys. Gonna be busting that out a lot this summer as well. Now, Sterling made the list, guys. Campania. I know this was released, what was it, last year, earlier this year? I can't remember. But this is a dupe. I had to write it down so Shady didn't kill me. It's a dupe of Aqua de Parma's Pico de Amalfi. Very great scent. It's got fig, citrus, a lot of amazing scent. It's an amazing scent. Great summertime scent. Splash, very, very strong scented. But it's a citrusy scent, so I don't know how long it's going to last like that. It's not like it's super overpowering is what I'm trying to say. All right. Now we're moving on to one of the best barber shops. There is, whoo, Good Vibrations by PAA. Oh, man, it's a great scent, great barbershop scent, old school scent. Um, like I said, we're going to put scent notes up at the bottom. Very excited to use this. Haven't used it often, but we're going to use it all through the summer months. 1776, holy cow. This makes a list quite a bit. I really enjoy this, and it's great for summer. It doesn't say so in the 1776. I don't know what does. Put scent notes up at the bottom. 
This has a, uh, I want to say tonka, grapefruit, some other things like maybe some patchouli. It's just, it's blended really well. I truly enjoy the scent of Holy Cow 1776. Um, as I've mentioned, very pricey. I would go for the vegan if I was somebody who just wanted it for the scent for sure. And you wanted to spend that 22 bucks. All right. Next, but not least, Mayflower Declaration Grooming. It's kind of a dirty floral. There's a little bit of sweetness. I don't know the scent notes on this one, but like a like a honey kind of sweet underneath the floral. I think there's like jasmine and stuff in here. Really intriguing scent. Can't wait to... I have not used this yet, so I can't wait to really use it this summer. All right, guys. Here it is. It's not my number one. But it is a great soap. Like, it's hard for me to put, like, number one. Especially when I'm just doing, like, summer scents. But this one is great. I really enjoy it. Cade's Cove from Talbot Shaving. Mal Grooming. Oh, yeah. It's got, like, sage grass. Honeysuckle. Some blackberry. This is a really kicking scent. As a matter of fact, Jeremy Tyler, um, the traveling shaver, picked this up for me. Um, I greatly appreciate it, Jeremy awesome scent and it's going to be getting a lot of use this summer all right guys do we need to recap do y'all need to see do we need to we'll go back over kate's cove declaration grooming mayflower and if i find any of these that are up for sale i will put the links below holy cow 1776 paa good vibrations sterling campagna Oh, why did I say we were going to go back over? Noble Otter, Manoy de Tahiti, HCNC, big collaboration for Kim, Kim Gray Magique, Valley of Fire, Talbot, Katie's Bubbles, Summer Break Soap, Cannonball, and the two that are just going together, Ecto Cooler and Mal Tangerine. They're just, they're going hand in hand with the splash I'm using, so we might as well use both. All right, guys, and that's the top 10 list, and that wraps it up. And if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later this week.